I'm Lydia Lunch, and along with Jasmine Hurst, we've spent the past two years interviewing musicians, artists, and writers about their lifelong struggle with depression and the various methods that they've employed in an attempt to strive beyond its brutal stranglehold. The roots of depression run deep, and there are many reasons for it. Childhood abuse, trauma, neglect, poverty, malnutrition, genetics, chemical imbalance, and it's never simple to just say existential angst. And in this documentary, we strive to present hope to anyone who suffers from depression, anxiety, or rage, and the knowledge that they are not alone. And we're trying to present not only hope, but a variety of methods in which to deal with it once the darkness does descend. inner feeling of, of just blankness, of just, of just death. I don't ever remember not being depressed. <laughs> I couldn't stop thinking and everything I thought was poisonous and horrible. It's a dark side that makes us all want to stare in the, in the black hole. Really truly losing my mind where you can't recover it again. That scares the fuck out of me. And I've lost my mind already. Being a Jew, you know, you don't, you don't tend to homicide, you tend to suicide. Dave Berkowitz being the uh, exception that proves the rule. Why at seven, eight years old, did I sort of just drive knowing that I wanted to stick a needle in my arm. I don't belong on this earth, and I'm not normal or right. There's something wrong with me. To be honest, this is the first time I've ever said that to any, any human being, ever. I got really distressed and really black and really destructive, and I shaved off all my hair and I went mad. Well, I've thought about killing myself a lot of times over the years. My father beat my mother in front of me for the first time when I was seven. I was also attacked by his friends and, and tied to a, a metal fence. When this Vietnam vet held this gun to my head, um, I had bad things happen to me, you, you know, it, it, probably around the age of 10 or, or 11 that really the die was cast. Why I didn't become a serial killer, and I think it might be because of my relationship with my cats. If you, you only have to look at the headlines of the New York Times to know why you wake up in the middle of the night. I mean, it's, it's, it's the end of the world. 